got original 1967 Ford pickup truck radio. It's a one year only radio. It's a straight AM radio. We took it and done a conversion on it from a roar design. Are you? It, now we've done a polishing job and everything on it. Repainted the bezel. And uh, it now has AM FM stereo. Man who was auxiliary in. It has Bluetooth with voice assistance and voice command. Four channels out, 45 watts channel. You can run one speaker up to four. It has five pre outs on it if you want to add an amp to your speakers and, and really get that bold sound. Uh, still got a little more cleaning to do on the knobs. That could measure up to Kitty Pancake Sweets. We're going to run it in and uh, see how everything works. I mean, that shows Get the true. camera adjusted here so I don't true. bump it again. Oh, right now you're on yes, FM stereo. You have an operating it. LED here and a Can stereo LED. It's the sweetest thing you're and, uh, and we're dating. Mm -hmm. Travel and base. We're running four speakers here, and uh, we'll be demonstrating the balance and the fader in case you decide to run four speakers in your truck. Uh, if you want to go to AM radio, you just simply turn it off and right back on. It takes you to AM radio. WSM around the world of WSM on. Off and right back on takes you right back to FM stereo. Auxiliary in. Uh, you'll get a two piece harness with it. This is one that you can hide in the truck. And then you get a mail to mail that you just simply plug in. If I can find it. Here it is. And we're going to show you how it works. The radio is sitting there listening for a device to come in. So we're going to plug an iPod to it. We're not going to touch the radio. Turn it up just a little bit. And your device, whatever device you want to put into it, CD player, uh, satellite radio, iPod, phone, all you do is just simply turn your device on. done with any device that you put into it, all you got to do is just simply turn it off. The radio in 20 seconds will cycle back around to where it is. The LED will change and go back to whatever you had the radio doing. Uh, if you don't want to wait 20 seconds, just simply turn it off and right back on. It remembers where you're at. Now that we've shut off the auxiliary and cycled it, if we shut it off not back on right now, it would go to AM radio. That's how your auxiliary in works. I'm going to plug this and turn it off because my battery life is not that good. Now we're going to run the Bluetooth in. Get a little music going. I'll demonstrate the balance and the fader for you. Uh, we're going to bring our phone up make sure we're on Bluetooth. Everything's dancing. Now we go. We got our Bluetooth pulled up and we're going to take the push button and you notice it's not lit up right now. These come in red and blue. All you got to do is let me know which one you want. And we're going to pair up the radio by simply just pushing it in and holding it. Ready to pair. It showed up on our phone. All we do is tap on it and she will tell us when it's paired up. Pairing completed. Device connected. Now your device connected up, paired up. If you shut the radio off, get out of the truck or whatever, and then come back to it the next day when you turn the radio on, if you got your phone, she will come on and say device paired. That means it automatically picks your phone up.
Uh, we're going to do a voice command. This is your mic. Got plenty of cable on it. You can hide it wherever you want to. I have mine like up on my sun visor. You can take that little cover off, make it small. Let's do a voice command. Play music. Now it's going to my music on my phone. If you want to change your songs, just simply push the button to advance once. Twice to repeat. It'll back up for you. Uh, bring voice command up is just like you did when you paired it up. Uh, you can do anything your phone is capable of doing with the push button. Just hold it down. Stop music. We're going to put it in pause and go right back to radio. That's how your voice command works. Bluetooth. Your uh, fader and balance, if you run four speakers or two speakers, you'll have balance. Three or more, you'll have fader. It's built right in the toner. And the way it works is... Uh, Find the center of it, there's wide open, there's bass. And you're going to go clockwise, 12 to 2 motion. You'll get a sheet on this that shows you how to do it. Pump it twice, it'll beep. When it quits beeping, it will be in the fader mode. You can fade from front to rear speakers so you find what you want. As long as you're moving that, it will stay in that mode. When you find what you want, you just stop, it'll beep once, and go back to uh, treble and bass, toner. Let's try it. As your ears. Back on treble and bass. We're going to go back to the center mark here and we're going to go into balance by going counterclockwise, 12 to 10 motion. And uh, it will do the same thing, beep, and you'll be in your balance mode. right and the left. Go balance it out. Let it beat. Now we're back on treble and bass. That's how your uh, built-in balance and fader works all in an AM radio. Bluetooth, four channels out, 45 watts channel. In the original 1967, one year only, forward radio. Appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.